Have you ever heard of another tool called JQ? JQ for searching in JSON. Yeah. Yes. That's it's a it's like a query language, so it kind of ties into to what you were talking about a yeah. little bit. But it's for JSON files, and so you can type this uh, the syntax and search through a JSON file and and get out like a specific piece of that. You can modify the JSON file in in different ways. Um, but when I use that, I constantly have to have the reference open to to figure out what I'm actually doing. There's also like a you know online tools that let you like paste some JSON in one side and then write a query and it'll show you the results on the other side. Kind of like, you know, a tool that you'd use for like doing regular expressions. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, and that's really cool, but like kind of marrying the two of those together is a tool that I just found the other day called JQQ. And it Mm -hmm. is a visual wrapper around JQ that kind of does the FZF type thing where as you're writing out your query, it's live showing you like a preview in like virtual text of exactly what would get returned by what you're, you're querying as you go. So you can kind of use that as a nice tool to build out your JQ syntax or your JQ query and in real time, get that feedback. That sounds super useful because I've never found JQ syntax to be good for me. <laughs> what do you, how do I say I it? I didn't like, want to say it. <laughs> easy. Well, just for me, it's not like, I'm not like blaming anybody. It just doesn't make sense in my head. You know, I'm like, what the, how do I, I'll just take the thing and I'll just cap my JSON and pipe it into grep and find what I'm looking for or something (laughs) or open it up in sublime text, which handles JSON files quite easily and do command F inside of there, you know, like, because I just, every time I have to use JQ, I have to feel like I'm learning the query language for the first time because I use it infrequently. I think if I use it daily, it would be less so. So it sounds like this is really great for discovering how that query language works more in a tactile way yeah absolutely so that's cool jqq 